Hi everyone, Giuliano here. The SharePoint app bar is appeared in one of my Office 365 tenant. This new component, it works like a compass. The end user is not lost during the navigation through SharePoint sites. Because there's always the ability to navigate back to the home site of the organization. The app bar offers four items. Global navigation, my sites, my news and my files and it's very crucial for Microsoft Viva Connections, which is totally integrated in Microsoft Teams desktop. Okay, let's move forward and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have the SharePoint home site here open. This is a communication site and as you can see here, I have the app bar that showed up. Here I have four elements, global navigation, my sites, my news and my files. This app bar follow you everywhere, so this means that if I open another SharePoint site, Global IT for example, as you can see the app bar is always here available, allowing me to check all my sites, sites that I am following and sites that I browse frequently. Below I have my news, that means that I can check at any time news recommended for me. Then again, my files. These are all files where I worked on recently. In the first icon, I can jump in the generic SharePoint page. If I click on it, as you can see, I am always in the root site collection in my home site, but I am in a different page and this is the SharePoint.aspx page, where I have news from my sites, frequent sites, and other information, suggested sites, if I save it for later articles, recent, and sites that I'm following. So this is the classic and generic SharePoint page. It is absolutely important to know that the first element can be customized. And this is the global navigation, as I said. I'll show you in a bit how you can customize it. Below we have the other three. And unfortunately, here there's nothing that you can do. So this is the out of the box feature and it is not customizable. I am now in Microsoft Teams desktop because I want to show you how it looks like the global navigation in Viva Connection. I made another video how you can set up Viva Connections in Microsoft Teams. You can click in the top right corner right now. At the first position, there is an, this app available, Contoso. Let's click on it. This is basically Viva Connections. It is the experience that brings the home site fully integrated in Microsoft Teams. In fact, this is exactly the home site that I have in SharePoint. Now, if I click again on this icon, the panel show up and here I have listed my sites and my news. This kind of behavior change if you configure properly the global navigation. I am now in the official Microsoft documentation and I recommend you to go through this documentation in order to configure properly the global navigation and the app bar in SharePoint. Okay, I want to highlight now the important notes here. As I say, the global navigation is the only app bar tab that you can customize. It is the first element. When a global navigation is disabled, as we have seen, this redirects you to the generic SharePoint page. It's not possible to disable app bar tabs and cannot be disabled the app bar in specific sites. It is not available currently in the SharePoint sites classic experience today, but probably in the future Microsoft will give us support also for that. Check if the app bar impacts your UI customization and it's good to have Microsoft Graph enabled on the tenant just to get the best benefits with news and sites experience. Eventually the SharePoint app bar can be delayed in terms of rollout until October 31 through PowerShell. An admin is required in order to do that, a SharePoint admin, of course. Next, we have additional important notes related to the global navigation. You have to set up an home site, of course, and the owner of the home site can enable the global navigation. And it's good to have every user in the company as reader of the home site so they can easily get access to the global navigation and then you can even use audience targeting in the global navigation last thing that i want to call out in the documentation is the logo because you can specify a logo in the global navigation and this should have these sizes 20 for 20 pixels 
should be a PNG file and it is better to have a transparent background. Ok, it's time to configure the global navigation. Here I am back to the home site. In order to configure the app bar, the global navigation more specifically, we have to click on the wheel icon here in the top right corner and then there is an item called global navigation. Let's click on it. Here I can turn on global navigation. Then I have to upload a logo. Let me click on the upload link. I already have a PNG file here. Then the logo is uploaded. I have to define the title of my global navigation and I will leave the name of my tenant. And finally, we'll, below I have to select the home site navigation or the hub or global navigation. I'll show you in a bit the difference. Just to clarify, the home site navigation is this one. The hub or global navigation is this one. Now, if I select hub or global navigation and then if I click on the link edit global nav navigation, a panel show up on the left and here I can see global IT and global HR. I can customize this navigation and as you can notice, it is exactly this first level of navigation, called also upside navigation. Then if I select home site navigation and then again in the audit, edit global navigation, I have more items here because this is the home site navigation and it is exactly this, let's say second level of navigation. Perfect, all set up. I want to use the home site navigation. So then I will click on save to confirm my change. Perfect, now I will refresh the page and the logo appears here available. If I click on it, the panel show up and I have the navigation available here. Let me now jump on another SharePoint site, the global IT, for example. The good thing is that this global navigation works like a compass. So the user is always able to go back to the home site or to navigate through the home navigation, which is very cool. So I will click now on home and I will jump back on my home site. Here I am in Microsoft Teams now. Let me click on Microsoft Viva Connection, the first app available on the left navigation pane. This will open my home site. Now, if I click again on the icon, the panel show up and I have here the global navigation. This is the home navigation. So I have all items here available. Then I have my sites and my news. So I can go on the home site, I can navigate through every page directly from here if I want. Now imagine that again, I, I jump on another SharePoint site, so I will definitely need to go back to the home site. I have two approaches, I have two methods. I can click on the left arrow button to go back, or I can again click on the icon and click on the home link in order to navigate back to the home site. Last thing that I want to call out is audience targeting. Let's say that I want to create here a new menu item. So I will go below and then I will click on the plus button in order to add another link. So I will add this text in the display name and then a simple URL. Clicking on OK, I have now this new item available, admin. So now I want to make available this item only for specific groups. So I will turn on the audience targeting navigation and then I can click again on edit. And now here I have a new text box, audiences to target. So here I can specify users or group. Now I will add the member of this site. So only the member of this site will see this new item. Let me click on OK and then save. OK, that was a video tutorial how to use SharePoint app bar. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.